Hi, it's the MLM for the Soul Channel. I do have a new topic for today. Before I begin, I just would like to say, may the words and expressions of my mouth and the thoughts and meditations of my heart find favor and acceptance before you, Hashem. And some people I thank who inspired me. I hope they can inspire you as well. We'll have links below this video to their sites. Hey, Rabbi Shalom Arash, Rabbi Laser Brody, Rabbi Yossi Mizrahi, Rabbi Eli Mansur, Rabbi Elon Anava, Rabbi Yuval Ovadja, Rabbi Daniel Asser, Nisan Baruch Black, David Sachs, Rabbi Michael Skobach, Jews for Judaism, Rabbi David Asher, and Rabbi Yaron Uvein. As well, if you've never checked out this channel before, I will have a link right below this video to my first video, which explains what MLM for the soul means, what it stands for, and what I'm doing. So today is an important topic, and I'm doing this before the beginning of the new calendar secular year for a re good reason. And I call this um, why Jews do not celebrate January 1st, and I don't call it by what everyone else calls it, and you, you, and subtitle, and you ought not to either if you care about all humankind, something like that is the subtitle, I can't remember it exactly. But, so I'm going to read you something that was actually written by, and I have to give credit to where credit's due, and this was written a few years ago, but uh, I feel it's very important uh, that I bring this out in case you don't know, because a lot of Jewish people have celebrated January 1st in the past, myself included, I'm just as guilty because I never knew this. Um, so this was written by uh, Israel's Minister of Culture and Sport, his name is Lee Moore, Live Not. He wrote um, on a Facebook page, I think it was back in 2015, because he wrote something about celebrating 2015. So, um, so here's what he wrote. A lot of good Jewish people tend to celebrate Sylvester. That's what January 1st is called. I don't, adding, generations upon generations in Europe used to, quote, celebrate Sylvester. Here's what they did. By burning synagogues, looting Jewish shops, and organizing pogroms. That does not sound like a pleasant celebration. Uh, this is appalling. I don't think that spilling Jewish blood is a reason to celebrate. For me, the year begins in the month of Tishrei, which we know when that is, the beginning of the year according to the Jewish calendar. So, dear Jews, if you don't know that, if you didn't know that before, now you do. So, a little more information about what's, what's Sylvester. So, Sylvester was the name of a Roman pope who reigned during the 4th century. Sylvester said to have convinced the Emperor Constantine to prohibit Jews from living in Yerushalayim. Sylvester also supported viciously anti-Semitic legislation. For centuries in Europe, January 1st was reserved for anti-Jewish attacks, such as synagogue burnings and the burning of Jewish texts and the public torture and murder of Jews. Again, it does not sound like a nice celebration. AD is short for Anno Domini, which means the year of our, I'm not going to say his name. Um, so if you celebrate that, you're celebrating the years after Yeshka's birth. That's what it means. That's what these numbers mean. Um, it's not our numbers. We're at 5778. That's the true um, years of the, uh, the world has been in existence. So, new, uh, so this is uh, not a secular holiday, January 1st. And again, I won't call it by what everyone says, happy, whatever. Um, it is a clear historical Christian association and for many hundreds of years has been a day dedicated to Jewish pogroms and bloodshed. Historically, Jews have locked themselves inside their homes on this date, and any poor Jew found walking outside for whatever reason would at the very least have his beard cut off and be brutally beaten, and perhaps not make it home alive. As Jews, we should be aware of this darker time in our history per perpetrated by the forebears of the people we are reveling with. Doesn't sound great, right? We have a rich and beautiful history based on truth and a connection to the Almighty. We would never say the Holocaust was a long time ago, so now we can celebrate something connected to it. Again, isn't right? It's not a celebration. And we would be appalled if our grandchildren celebrated something connected to a Holocaust, arguing, it was a long time ago, Grandpa. Why is it palpable to argue that we celebrate January 1st? Because the brutal uh, anti-Jewish attacks uh, today, meaning when it happens, because the brutal anti-Jewish attacks by those celebrating it for hundreds of years did not occur in recent history, meaning... Since it didn't happen right now, why does it matter? Why can't we celebrate it? Because of history. We don't want to be part of that. So uh, then he mentions about Hanukkah, which already happened. But he says, on Hanukkah, we are celebrating the fight against secular culture and the cultures that oppose Jewish views. We should be proud of our beautiful heritage and culture based on truth and never join in revelry on a holiday with rabid anti-Jewish views. Beautifully said. Uh, this person must be definitely someone who follows the Emmet. Um, again, his name is Lee Moore, Live Not. 
uh, and he, this was written a few years ago. But I thought that was very important that people understand why it is we don't do it, and you ought not to, and let other, other people know too as well, even if they're not Jews. If they are lovers of humankind in general, uh, no matter what, what you ascribe to, then nobody should be uh, celebrating. It's not a, a day for celebration. It's a day for introspection and reflection, and that this should never happen again. And we're not living in that time when it did, but still, uh, it's not something I, uh, that we should all celebrate. We should all celebrate following the Derech of Hashem and the truth, and that we will all merit to live and see the coming of Mashiach speedily in our days and the rebuilding of our final and everlasting base Hamigdash. Amen, and thanks for watching.